In this video I'd like to go through the process of setting up a snake grid projection file so it can be used with Trimble Business Center on a computer. The first thing to do is to take the DAT file containing the snake grid parameters and place it into your geodata folder. Now that's located on program data, Trimble and then geodata. Just be aware that program data is a folder that's hidden by default in Windows and you may need to make it visible if you can't see it. And that can be done in File Explorer using the View tab and tick on Hidden Items and then you'll be able to see it. Here you can see I have a variety of snake grid files placed into my Geodata folder including one, the East Coast Mainline. And that's the one I'm going to set up for use in TBC in this video. Let's just pop that down there. Here I have TBC open. And in TBC, on the quick access toolbar at the top, where we have shortcuts to a variety of functions, there's one here to shortcut to the Coordinate System Manager. Now, the Coordinate System Manager you can open standalone. You don't actually have to open it from TBC, but the Link is there at the top if you wish to do that. In the coordinate systems list, I already have a section set up here called snake grids, but I'll set up this one from scratch and make a new entry completely. So I'm going to right click on coordinate systems and choose add. So in effect, I'm making a new entry here, almost like a new folder call it snake grids 2 and in here I'll right click again and choose add once more and give a name to my new entry for the snake grid I'll leave the defaults as they are here and go on to projection and in the projection list pick snake grid from the bottom there and from this drop down you'll see all the DAT files that are in your geodata folder we saw these a moment ago and here's the ECML that file so again I can leave the, the parameters as they are here now, no need for the shift grid the geoid model if there's a geoid model associated with your snake grid, then you can pick it here. I believe with this one, it being a slightly older snake grid, that the geoid model used with this one was OSGM02, so I'll pick that here. Hit OK. And then that's set up. So if I press Save, that will be ready to use in TBC or any other program that uses the coordinate system manager to acquire its coordinate system information. Close that. This TBC project at the moment it's positioned using the older OSTM02 coordinate system. If I go to the settings button up here select coordinate system and then change I can now pick a new coordinate system so now we're drawing information from the coordinate system manager we saw a moment ago let's go up to snake grids 2 that's the one we've just set up next there's the dual model finish and OK and now we can see that the coordinate system is based on that snake grid and if I select a point here and view, review its properties I can see the global lat longs for the point and the snake grid easting northing and the elevation based on the, the geoid model selected which in this case happened to be OSGM02 so that's how you can set up the snake grid for use with TBC. It's possible then to import data into TBC to put it into that snake grid system. 
and, and also to export from TBC as well.